What's up, YouTube? We got a yo-yo review to do today. This is the Elysium prototype from Few and Far Between Yo-Yos. <laughs> Elysium Prototype. Sorry, you guys saw me wearing my Razer headset because I was listening to Nate talk about this yo-yo. Um, you've seen my boy, Nate Marstoff, already has reviewed this. It's being passed around. Doc Lucky has also reviewed it. You should go check out Lucky's channel. Uh, it's very good as well. And now I will be reviewing it. We've all signed this yo-yo. Uh, and more people will sign it as more people review it. Uh, so far... Uh, it's hit through I am the third person for this to hit and it will hit more coming up soon But let's talk about this yo-yo and particularly what it is. So this is a new company Few and far between Very cool. Uh, I like the box that it came in a lot And I like the yo-yo. very organic sort of bell-shaped yo-yo. Uh, we will get into how it plays first But first let's get into what comes with said yo-yo so there is a face mask right here. Face mask, see? It says few and far between on it. Keep yourself safe during the pandemic. Face mask. Wear a yo-yo face mask. Cool. Um, there, it comes with strings. Eretic strings, to be uh, specific. Eretic strings are very good. Uh, I really like eretic strings. I like the guy that makes them. And uh, Rob, Rob's a good dude. And uh, came with a bunch. Every reviewer gets uh, a string. So thank you, thanks Rob, thanks uh, Few and Far Between for sending these. Uh, Few and Far Between is actually a husband and wife team uh, for designing the yo-yos, but let's talk about people that are involved in this. We got Air Attic. Uh, this was designed by uh, Patrick Dressel, Mr. Hobby God himself. Uh, if you don't follow him, and the dude, dude designed tons of yo-yos. I've met him, uh, I think once or twice, twice I think now. And uh, dude designs tons of yo-yos, uh, has his hand just Great, great mind for yo-yo design. Has had his hand in a lot of uh, yo-yo designs. Good stuff. And then, make sure you go to chrisfranz.com as well. Uh, check out the artwork on this box, by the way. Dig it. So, comes with a cool, cool box. Also comes with some killer pins. Pins are good. Uh, marbles? Bouncy balls? These aren't bouncy balls. These are marbly things. Like kind of like balls. Comes with balls. Who likes? Who doesn't like balls? And then a metal pin. So you got plastic pins and a metal pin, and erratic strings. Plus balls and a face mask. Really a big package. If if you want to, uh, man, I am making a lot of innuendos in this video already. Uh, really a big package. If we're if we're being honest here. Uh, really lots of cool stuff. So. Uh, Let's talk about the yo-yo itself. Uh, as you can see, kind of a big, wide, organic, as it were. I am not the first person to touch this. Uh, a wide organic with a kind of nice bell shape. Um, no, no real rim weight here to speak of. The weight seems to be more centered, uh, and that's kind of how it plays when you play it. It's got a lot of like kind of floatiness to it. It plays kind of wide, but it plays kind of wide and pretty light and floaty. Uh, which is kind of neat and pretty unique, actually, in, in its in its play. Um, comes with a center track bearing and uh, a very, very nice blast finish that we have now all written our names upon. Um, it's okay if you want to, like, wipe my name off. I wrote it in Sharpie, so if you, like, get... If you win this or something, I think they're going to give this away. I think that was the idea. Uh, and if you win, and uh, you know, you can rub my name off if you hate me. That's fine. That's totally fine, people. But leave Nate's on there. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Anywho, uh, I like it. And as far as a pro, it's hard to like review, review a prototype because there may be changes between now and the end to say, you know, so maybe like, oh, the prototype's amazing, but then the yo-yo that comes out is totally different. And maybe I don't like that one. But the prototype is cool. Uh, it kind of plays wide, kind of plays floaty. Uh, just kind of plays fun. Uh, it's a neat yo-yo. Uh, you know, it comes with a nice bag. Elysium prototype. Um, I assume this is the... Uh, there's probably only a couple of prototypes, and uh, here's the uh, bag the prototypes come in. Cool. I mean, it's just a cool yo-yo. It's it's a cool. It's a nice idea, especially. I like the bell shape. You know, it doesn't sort of doesn't reinvent the wheel or anything. But uh, I, I do like Patrick Dressel. I, I like Pat's. Uh, I like his designs, and uh, this is this is definitely one to check out. But let's go ahead and throw it around a little bit and give you my opinion of it whilst I'm throwing it. 
The Elysium prototype. Upon first throw, you definitely notice that it's got some center weight, which is cool. A lot of yayas, I mean, just have a lot, ton of rim weight, so it's like, you know, it's power. It's all, it's all in the rims, and that's how you feel it. This does not have that. Uh, got a lot of center weight. Still very stable. Uh, spun for a long time, as you saw there. Pretty wide, too. Uh, I mean, that's sort of like, it doesn't necessarily look wide just because of the shape, but uh, when you're actually throwing it, you're like, oh, that's actually kind of a wide yo-yo. Uh, it's the, easy to hit the string with just because of how wide it is. Uh, the bell shape's pretty cool as well. I'm a big fan of bell shaped yo-yos. It was a little bit of speed there, but definitely wants to just kind of float and go a little bit slower. Not the lightest yo-yo, not the heaviest yo-yo. Somewhere right in the middle, and I think that has a lot of that has to do just with the overall width of it. Um, very chill playing, but uh, also, if I could read you, that would be nice. The uh, blast finish on this is just nice. It's pretty. Feels good. It's good to touch. Feels good on the grinds. And uh, the response is good too. And I know this isn't a like fresh yo-yo out of the box because like some other people have played it, but uh, still a good response on that. Um, as far as finger spins are concerned, Nothing to stop you. And uh, thumb grinds, probably the same. Yeah, get your thumb in there, it grinds up real nice. I, I mean, really just a very straightforward, nice bell-shaped, kind of floaty, sort of organic-ish. Some organic bell, can I call it that? I'm like coining new terms here. Nice. Just, it just, it plays nice. Definitely something to keep your eye out on, especially just because for what comes in the package. I like this blue too. I know prototypes, like usually I'm like, ooh, I like the color of that prototype, and then that's never a release color. But uh, this prototype has a killer blue. Regen's nice too. Just, just nice, yeah, yeah. Floaty, fun. It's more. What, what more do you want than that? Let's go ahead and take it apart. I'll show you guys what the insides look like. All right, Elysium prototype by a new company. Few and far between. I'm gonna do that every time. Sorry. All right. Bell shaped. Let's take it apart. Comes apart pretty nice. Ooh, super long axle. I like that. I dig that. All right, let's check it out because there's some cool stuff going on here. So, uh, it is not super simple on the step here. It seems like it's a pretty straightforward organic. However, you get here, you get a little dip here, a little cut, and then it swoops right up, rounds over super nicely, um, and then goes right to the silicone response pad, which fits perfectly in there. Uh, this was machined very well. Came apart very nice. Got a nice long axle. I'm not going to worry about stripping this thing at all. Uh, a lot of meat in the center there. That con that convexes out a little bit. Concave is in. Convex is out. Remember that? Uh, this is concave. Pumping out. Convex. There you go. Now you learned something. Don't say you never learned something. You never learned nothing watching me. Um, and then we got over here stainless steel axle. Nice long axle, probably about 10 millimeters, I would guess. And then a uh, nice uh, center track bearing. Uh, very nice and clean, good spin. Nice and quiet. Very cool. This is Nate there. I like Nate, I miss Nate. I usually see Nate two or three times a year and I haven't seen him at all since like 2019. And that stinks. So, uh, Nate, can't wait to hang out with you again, buddy. 
But it uh, goes back together nice. That's the, I like when you just whoosh and spin freely when you're putting them back together. I like that. A little tight at the end. Very nice. Uh, now I'm going to strip. Just a, just a straightforward, cool, cool, de cool design. Uh, blast finish is good. Really nice blast. I showed you that. Finger spins were good. Thumb grinds were good. I mean, this is sort of, you know, I, I feel like we've sort of hit, especially with these types of things, uh, in the cup and everything, kind of a... Uh, you know, this is this is the cup for the chill yo-yo. You know, and it, it works out pretty well. This has a little less power than, say, the koi does, um, or, or the uh, here it is next to the uh, the uh, the ovation, but uh, pretty similar size diameter there to the ovation, uh, but it is a touch wider, not much, just a touch. Um, Solid design. I think this is a really good prototype. Uh, I know that uh, Patrick Dressel knows what he's doing, making yo He's made some cool ones. Uh, he's got his hand in, in quite a few that are coming up this year. So uh, definitely something to check out. Uh, I've got links down in the description um, for you know all this stuff to check out Patrick, to check out uh, Few and Far Between, you know, ChrisFrance.com. Check all that stuff out. And... Uh, Thanks, uh, shout out to Few and Far Between Yo-Yos uh, for uh, sending me this, and uh, well, for Nate actually to send it to me, uh, and uh, letting us all check it out, and having us all sign it, and uh, keep an eye out for the next review of it, but uh, I think it's cool, I dig it, so uh, follow these guys, I, I, I hope they do, I, I like packages like this, I hope they do packages like this, because I think this is cool, but uh, thanks for watching guys, please make sure you like and subscribe, cheers to you, I'll see you next time.